What's up guys, this is Pink Across here today to show you a team I've been having some good uh, ladder success with. So far it's brought me to 2000s and I figured I would do some live recorded games. So this is a, a Lolan Muck team. The idea behind this is with Poison Touch you can get um, a 51% chance to poison with Poison Jab. Uh, you can knock off, which is great, and then Body Slam if you use that on uh, any type that's not immune to either paralysis or poison, you've got a 30% chance for paralysis and a 30% chance for poison. So if you uh, think about a normal switch into something like this, like Toxapex or King Gambit or Corviknight, those are pretty well bothered too. Uh, an additional to kind of join in on the status gang, we have Defensive Goldengo. I think this is really a good Pokemon in the metagame right now. It completely walls Zamazenta, both forms, and Sneasler. Next up, we've got Tauros. Uh, pretty much the only answer to Chien Pao right now. Uh, but it also handles King Gambit fairly well. And with Terra Electric, you can even set up on Zapdos, which can be really funny. Then we've got Zapdos, pretty standard set. Eevee to outspeed uh, Urshifu, since they're going to be running Punching Glove. Probably you can't rely on Static nowadays. And we've got Discharge, Hurricane, and Volt Switch. And we've got a Heavy Duty Boots, Offensive Tusk, fairly standard set. And a Black Glasses SD Chien Pao to kind of clean up late game after a lot of things have been statused and chipped down. All right, let's get into it. And uh, the team. Link, if you want to try this out for yourself, will be in the description. And also, I'm offering one-on-one -on -one tutoring sessions now. So if you're interested in that, the sign-up is also going to be in the description. Okay, let's see how this goes. You may have noticed this team has pretty much no answer for Garganackle. So we're just going to hope we don't run into any. Uh, and if you do see one, well, you can try some shenanigans with Chien Pao and headlong rush tusk and hope it's not curse all right let's see facing dean dawn is zero two all right muck looks pretty good although i'm expecting this to be a garchomp lead so i think i just want to start off with zapdos and click hurricane okay so he's going to start with ditto uh i expect he's just going to volt switch out so let's click hurricane hopefully hit the garchomp This charge would be weird here. Yeah, Muck. The great thing about Muck here is since Toxapex doesn't have knockoff or Scald, Muck can come in on Toxapex pretty much infinitely and just do whatever it wants. Okay, so that, that was a really good turn. However, that damage concerns me. I was hoping it would be less, because that would mean it was defensive. But let's see. Yeah, Hurricane Crit shouldn't be doing that much. So this Garchomp has no bulk. That was actually that was a good roll on no bulk too. Max roll. So let's see how much Draco Meteor is doing. Actually surprisingly not killing. So I think I'm actually just going to go for Oh. Okay, so we got outraged. Fortunately though, that does mean he's locked into outrage and we get to take out the Garchomp. Not the best situation. Probably not a trade I would have gone for. Had I known he was going for Outrage, I would have switched. Um, having Zapdos would have been great for that great tusk. But seems like I could just go Chien Pao and Ice Shard, but I'm a bit worried he might Terra. Although Chien Pao isn't fantastic this game. Mainly just because the Ditto can kind of copy it. So I'm actually, I'm going to go right into Chien Pao here. And let me check if Outrage can kill Zapdos. Because we may find that this is Choice Banded. At which point probably we should crunch uh, to anticipate the possible Terra. So let's see here. No. Okay, so that's 
Ah, no shot, he terrors here. I'm just gonna ice shard. Okay. Just no need to take the rough skin damage, and a terra there would have been shocking given he wasn't Joyce Scarf. Alright, so this is a very easy Tauros. He has nothing that can really hit us very hard, probably. He's going to go for a Sacred Sword here. Um, can just go into Tauros, and now he should go into Toxapex, so this is a great time for Mach to come in and do its thing. So I'm actually going to click Poison Jab here. Okay, so we have a 51% chance to poison. Unfortunately there, didn't get it. Uh, but we can go into our own Great Tusk. reason I'm choosing Great Tusk to uh, engage in Tusk Wars here is because getting those leftovers knocked off was really important, even though offensive can't beat defensive one-on-one. -on -one. Trying to think if it's worth preserving this for that Sarah ledge, uh, preserving the leftovers specifically. I think that is a good idea, so I'm going to swap into Goldengo here and just go for Make It Rain. Okay, so that's really good for us that he stayed in here, and now I can go Great Tusk, and I'm going to say click Stealth Rock. Okay, in case of that Sarah Ledge, exactly. So it's good. Tauros is still alive and ready to deal with this thing. Okay, so Swords Dance. That's not what I was expecting. Hopefully he's not really speedy. Okay, he is very speedy. This is bad. I'm going to just go for the Raging Bull here. Okay, I, I actually don't think he can do that much to me. We'll see. I mean... It's, it's plus 3.5, so I'm sure he can do plenty, but I, I don't think he can kill. Let's see. Sarah Ledge with Swords Dance. It's plus 5, yikes, but I am plus 1. Okay, so he's not going to be killing, and Bitter Blade does not recover nearly enough. But... Yeah, I think this is worth it. I don't see this being really crucial for the rest of this game. Especially with the top specs being around, so I'm just going to click Raging Bull. Okay, unfortunately he did have close combat, but we live to fight another day. And just click Protect here. And he's actually going to go for the Raging Bull, so I can bulk up on that very easily. And click Body Press here. So he's, he's really letting this ditto take damage for no reason. It's very good for me. Got no problem protecting here. Okay. Just gonna body press. He can't can't kill me with anything. So the this is this is some very odd playing. Uh, I see no reason not to just stall his PP out. Body press here. Prevent setup. Going to body press again. Okay, so he goes gets the toxic off. Oh, baneful bunker. Interesting. So I can tell kind of what he's doing here. Alright, not sure what this wants to do, but this is a 51% poison chance, and we've got a Chien Pao in the back. Okay, unfortunately we do not get the poison. Alright. A little dicey. Let's see here. I'm actually going to bulk up. Okay, so he, he reveals, he shows his hand a bit. And fortunately, he goes for Outrage. Meaning, he's locked into that. And I can just go Goldango here. Now, I think a Hex should kill. But let me just check this. This is going to be... Terrifier. Hex has a very good shot to kill. It's like, if this is, unless he's uh, some weird bulky Roaring Moon. In such a case, though, he'll end up poisoned and I'll get a chance to paralyze him. So I really don't foresee this going badly. Just gonna go in and Hex. I don't think even a crit here will take Goldango out. I'm a max, nearly max fizz def.
Yep, very little. Okay, and hex kills. So this this pack should get destroyed now. Okay, fantastic. Good game. Okay, here we go. Really interesting team I'm looking at here. Hitsui and Gudra, Hatterene. Not things you commonly see. I think I just want to start off with Zapdos. Let's see. Okay, Zapdos on the Landris. Not bad. Click Hurricane here. Hopefully hit. I think Qian Pao could be fantastic here late game, especially if that Tusk gets chipped by the Mach. Hopefully nothing like uh, Terra Rock Stone Edge here. Okay, not bad. Not too bad of a start. He's going into the Gudra, though. See, I think the only thing this really has to do any meaningful damage to Zapdos is Draco Meteor, which is going to drop like that. So I can just roost here, and I got a fortunate paralysis as well. I'm guessing he's going to go into Dragapult here. So just in anticipation while we're waiting, let's get a Dragapult calc. Okay, so Draco after a roost is not going to kill me. So surprisingly, he looks like he's he's keen on staying in. I don't have an issue with this. I think this is a great time to go muck, and I can click knock off here. He could Earthquake. I don't want to get Muck too low. Preserving its uh, health for the Hatterene could be a very nice late game. But I think going for a knock here is something I can definitely afford to do. Might even get a nice poison on the Tusk. Ooh, that's fantastic. That is a that is a beautiful turn. That that poison chance coming in incredibly clutch there. Seems like a pretty free great tusk. I can threaten to remove hazards. I could also just set my own. Um, I think I'm going to knock off here. Okay, so he didn't end up going into that, but this gives me a pretty easy Alolan knock, and um, Qian Pao is looking better than ever. He also has a Qian Pao, but I'm Jolly Sacred Sword, so worse comes to it, that's going to be a tie. I also have a great switch into his Qian Pao, being Poros, and he does not have a switch in at all to mine. Let's see what he wants to do here. The fact that he's leftovers gives me hope that he might not have Nuzzle. That would be the only thing that would annoy Muck. Although some Combine sets do run Nuzzle. Goldango is an option, but Hatterene can sometimes get out of control. Okay, so he may have Nuzzle, but he hasn't used it yet. I think I just um, probably go for a Poison Jab here. Okay, unfortunately don't we don't get the pair that time. But this is a pretty easy... Zapdos switch. Maybe we'll get the maybe we'll get the para on the U-turn. Or he might Earthquake, which would also work pretty well. And this is especially defensive Lando. Something to consider. That hurricane crit would have done a lot more to a defensive. And Landris doesn't have knockoff or toxic this gen, so that is not a concern. The scariest thing he has is that Dragapult. That's what I'm most afraid of. So I've got... Gen Pao can switch in for a long while. But the Dragapult... That's that's a bit more dicey. Okay, fortunately he does go right into the Gen Pao. Oh, but switches out again. Okay. I'm just gonna go right into Muck. And this time I'll click Knock Off. Okay, don't get the poison again, but that's alright. Definitely did a good amount to the Landorus. And here, I think I'm just going to wait. Maybe he'll psych himself out, and then I can just go right back into Zapdos. And the fact that he didn't go into Dragapult there makes me think it's probably not Specs. I can't imagine what it could be. It might actually be a uh, Thunder Wave Hex, because even Will-O-Wisp Hex would have been decent against Zapdos there. But that's good to know. I don't, I don't expect that he's going to be Specs Pult, which would be worst case scenario here. And now he's thinking, maybe I might stay in. Let's go into Zapdos. Worked like a charm. Okay. Patience. Patience is key. 
hurricane here, hopefully hit. It's not the end of the world if we don't hit, but it would be nice since that would basically take out his muck, last muck switch in. And he doesn't seem to have, I, once again, we haven't seen the Dragapult come out, which is the, is the only way I can see us losing at this point. And I suppose there's always, there's always um, Chien Pao because it's Chien Pao. I think this time I'm going to go into Goldango and I can click Hex. So I think this is Assault Vest, but it's paralyzed, got a defensive Goldengo. Mm -hmm. Actually though, the fire move does concern me a bit. But let's Hex. I don't want to let the Mach get too weak, and removing Hazards would be great. Doesn't look like that's going to happen anytime soon. But if I could manage to at some point get my tusk in and click rapid spin, that would be that would be awesome. So hopefully here I can hex maybe two hit KO or three hit KO and just recover until he misses a flamethrower. So based on that damage, I'm not going to be able to get a two hit KO. But I can recover until he gets paralyzed. Hopefully that doesn't take too long. Last move could be Flash Cannon, could be Thunderbolt, Ice Beam. Actually, Gudra has really good coverage. Okay, not quite killing. I'm gonna recover again. Okay, he goes into Chien Pao. So, fun fact here, Chien Pao actually cannot kill this Goldengo unless it's Bandit. So I can go into Tauros here and check. So he's Life Orb. Actually, that, that might kill Chien Pao. Here, there is no reason not to just go Raging Bull. All right, that's good info. So we don't see an item. I think I'm safe to protect here. Substitute would be really weird on a non-leftover set. Okay, so he actually does go for the Draco. So that means this is probably a Specs Dragapult. Surprised we didn't see this come out earlier. Oh, I got some nice luck there with that miss. And this seems like a pretty free X time. I figured he would just sack Gudra, but that's one last sack I have to deal with later. And Muck can take a spec Dragapult hit. Let me show you guys this calc. Look at that. That's nothing. Very nice. So I'm, I should just be able to go Muck here. Nice. I was a little scared there about some crazy read, but nothing bad happened. And there we go. Finally, the Landris gets poisoned, and I can just protect here and take the Landris right out of the game. Okay, so he is Life Orb, so I'm not going to protect again. I'm going to go hard into Chien Pao, just in case he starts Swords Dancing. And I can just go for a Raging Bull. Alright, can protect here. Let's see what he wants to do. Shadow Ball. Okay, just gonna go into Muck. Okay, and he goes for the Terra Ghost. Not that scary for us. Just protect. Tauros. Actually. Yeah, yeah, I'll go Tauros. Okay. So now he actually takes more damage if he goes into Dragapult. And now that he's terra I no longer have to worry about some Calm Mind Terra type destroying my soul. So I can just click Make It Rain here. I still think it's ridiculous that they made Make It Rain a 100% accuracy move, but hey, that's, uh, that's Nintendo's call. As much as I'd like to spin, I don't see it happening this game, and I think Tusk is actually my most dispensable member here. 
actually no, I think Zapdos is a little worse at this point, so we'll go into that. And just Volt Switch. And here, I think probably my best play is Chien Pao Crunch. Alright, I can just Crunch again. So I don't think even a critical hit Shadow Ball would take me out here. He would have to use Draco to kill my Pow. Maybe I'm overthinking. Maybe I should just sack Tusk. But I do get a kill with Make It Rain. If he does. I'm just going to go right Tusk. Oh, he U-turned. That's kind of odd. Okay, I can just go Tauros. This switches in. Not forever, but pretty close to it. Okay, any Shadow Balls. This is the time to sack Great Tusk and then go into Mock. I'm going to... I think... Actually, is that a choke? Let's see. So he actually does not do a KO here, so I think it's a pretty safe poison jab. Okay, and we get the poison, nice. So that is, that's pretty much a wrap. Uh, I can protect here, and then I can poison jab again. But he doesn't have anything to beat Tauros with anymore. And that's going to get poison too. I can just protect again. Muck is showing this, this, uh odds of getting the poison are crazy high. It's actually really powerful. GG. Okay. So this is, um, this is pretty scary. We've got a Dragapult, which I don't love to see. Don't hate it, but certainly don't love it. Ursa Luna, which would be especially scary if that's his lead. And we got a Rotom Watch. See, HF here. I think I'm going to lead with Muck, expecting the Rotom. Okay, so he actually leads with the Dragapult. Either way, I think my play is always knockoff here. This is one of those matchups where I'd hope Muck doesn't get burned, but there's really not much I can do. And this is a situation in which, certainly if it had to get burned, knocking off a Dragapult is absolutely the way to go out. Okay, that's, that is Choice Banded Dragapult. I might have even died to a darts there. Oh, but that is really, that's a great, great start. So he should set rocks, so I'm just going to go for the Rapid Spin here. He should be going for the Hydro Pump. Still, part of me really actually still wants to knock off, just because of how annoying Rotom is. I think I'm going to go Zapdos and Volt Switch into Tusk, and then click knockoff. Okay, so with that, I don't think my Tusk is vital, and that made my Qian Pao so much more scary. And based on that knockoff damage, let's see. Based on that, so we are offensive, so that is going to be pretty much a max defense Rotom. But do not despair, this is a Qian Pao. Odds are good, but not great. Not not something I want to bet at all on. Which is unfortunate. I could Terra Dark right here. I don't love that idea. Although part of me thinks, you know, what the heck else would I realistically use it on? Yeah, maybe Terra Dark here is the play. Although, hmm. so the good thing is, based on the bulk this thing has, it does get outsped by Tauros. Good to know. I don't think Zapdos is crucial. I think I just go in here 
and click Discharge for damage. So now this Rotom will... Oh no. Okay, that's not good. He should just go Facade here. I'm gonna go Tauros. Yikes! I hate switching into this Pokemon. Okay, we're gonna do that again. So, little does he know, I'm the fattest of all Goldangos. This should be a very easy Tauros switch in. Oh wow, I did not see that coming. Okay, but we get Muck in, which is really good here. Go for the knockoff. Alright, um, that's annoying. I'm just gonna body slam for damage, no shot he attacks me here. And now I can protect and kill him. Yeah, so he always went for Stealth Rock there. Anything else would have been a really shocking play. Let me check if Darts does indeed kill. So it's a roll. It's actually a... In, when you consider the... Uh, send him out, which let's see, 88.6. That's pretty well in my favor. I think I'll just knock off. Okay, that that went really, really well. That's that's a dream come true. Chien Pao is looking poised to clean this game up. Although that slow king is still pretty scary. So I can definitely afford to go Tauros here. It's unfortunate though that the muck is going to fall like that. I think I go Goldango here. Oh my. Okay. Well, I can Thunder Wave. That's unfortunate, though. I definitely didn't see that one coming. From Bulk Up? Okay, here... I'm gonna Raging Bull. He should always go into his Slow King. That's really good. I'm gonna click that again. As we saw earlier, his Rotom is not speedy. He's pretty defensive. So I can just go for that right away again. This one's a bit of a tough call. Could, I could sack Mach and go into Chien Pao. I think I want to just Raging Bull again. Hopefully no poison. Okay, good. He went for the Future Sight there. That's that's ideal. Okay. And now this, this is definitely where we say goodbye to Mach. So the fact that he Terra'd is... Kind of, kind of a mixed bag of news for us. The good part is that Chien Pao is now looking really, really good. Hmm. I think I hurricane again. Okay, that's nice. I'm going to bulk up here. Bulk up again. Then I can body press. Do a bunch of damage. And then I think I'm going to swap Chien Pao. Okay, that's unfortunate. But I can go into Poros here. Body press. Bulk up. Bulk up again. Yeah, oh, actually, uh, do I? Yeah, I do. Oh, uh, he called it out. Unfortunate, the poison on Chien Pao really, really uh, got me there at the end. All right, that seems like a pretty good spot to wrap up. As you can see, uh, there are some threatening Pokemon. Garganackle, Specs, Dragapult can be scary for the team. And in this metagame, preparing for everything pretty much impossible so there are a lot of scary matchups but very fun to use and uh, especially if you're lucky with muck this team is a blast so remember poke paste is in the description and uh, the link to sign up for one-on-one -on -one tutoring with me is also in the description if you're interested in that if you like the video please like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time